we, uh, I guess, first really got interested in the Alter G when we were at the, uh, I think it was one of the early Arkansas meets. You guys had one there and we looked at it and it was a perfect time for us because we had one of our quarter milers who had uh, had a metatarsal stress fracture and he'd anchored uh, our NCAA championship team last year. And so he was out and Coach Hart saw it and I'd been telling him about it and what I you know, thought how much it could help us. And uh, so we ended up getting one and it was amazing to watch uh, what it did for him. We were able to keep him in uh, a, a great, uh, great shape to the point where I believe he came back after being off of it a week and split 45-1 for us down at Texas Relays. He'd been on it five weeks and uh, did nothing but the Alter G. We got him, just barely got him off of it and put him on that. So that, that made Coach Hart a believer real fast. And uh, he actually brought his quarter milers in here, I guess maybe on a really bad weather day in February or March we had. Instead of going over to the Ferrell Center, he brought him in here and put him through a workout on the Alter G. And at, at that time, we just had one. So that was one of our biggest problems was just we, we needed the second one. So we're really uh, thankful and blessed now that we have the second one. But uh, we use it a lot uh, for our, we found out that you could train your 400 people uh, and keep them in pretty good, uh, get some pretty good anaerobic work, uh, which, you know, we, uh, we were very uh, pleasantly surprised that you could, could run as fast as you could on that and, uh, and, and really push that anaerobic threshold with your 400 runners. And so we got some great work on that. Our distance runners, uh, we had numerous distance runners on it this spring that had uh, various injuries and I think uh, one of the really nice things that we discovered was that it really took out some of the second guessing as to when, you, when to bring it back off an injury. Uh, when they got up to about 85% of their body weight, we knew that it was time to put them back on the grass and then ease them back onto the track and so you felt like you were doing a lot better job as a coach. Uh, taking some of that guess, second guessing out, when to bring it back, and you know when to try to get it back into action, and so that was a big plus for us. Uh, we got some of our young distance runners that had came in with very low mileage, and we were able to increase their mileage in a very safe way. We had one young lady that was uh, gotten so discouraged with some injuries and things that had happened that it, it got to where she was she was at about an all time low and. I had a hard time getting her out here. She actually stood me up a couple times before I could get her out on the Alter G. And it was just amazing to see what it did for her and how much it made her feel like a runner again. Uh, got her off the elliptical, got her off of the water running, and just other forms of cross training that we were using. And, and she just felt like she was back training again. And so that was a, that was a pretty uh, a pretty neat deal that happened this spring. And he said, we, our only problem that we had with it was that we just couldn't, couldn't put enough on it. You know, so that's why we had to get a second one, and I'm sure that a lot of people will be in the same boat because we used it a lot, and we will use it a lot, and so uh, we're just very excited about it, and uh, thinking that's about all I got to say about that. <laughs> you should put your hand on. <laughs> was that, how was that? That was fantastic. <laughs> could, could you maybe like give like a, a sample workout you guys do on it? Would, uh, would that yeah, be? I'll tell about Coach Art, the man scientist. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, one of the uh, the uh, very interesting things, I guess, was this spring when we were trying to experiment. You know, because we, you know, you know how to use it for aerobic, the aerobic benefits when you get on there and you got your heart rate monitor and so forth, and no problem. But you know, training your quarter milers on it was a little different, probably a little different territory. And so we, Coach Hart came in here and he was making up these workouts. It just, he was like a mad scientist how fast, how, how far they needed to run on it, what was equivalent to it, what we, we were doing three by three fifties with five minutes, how was that gonna equate to the treadmill? And so it took us a while to a little figure it out and, and he actually got some heart rate uh, testing out here on our quarter mile just to kind of see and compare where they were at at workout to where we were at on the treadmill here. So it was, uh, we had some great workouts, whatever we did on the track, if it was two by 500 or two by 450 or three by 350, that's what we were doing on the treadmill. And the 200s that we normally do on Monday, uh, we, we increased those a little bit. Uh, we increased the duration. Instead of going 10 by 200 and if we were running in 30 or 8 and 28, uh, we would increase the, the length of the, the effort a little bit to maybe like 